Hello, good evening. I hope you are doing well. Um, so we're going to try something new today. It could entirely be a Pinterest fail. We'll find out because I've never done this before. I've seen a bunch of stylists do some fun designs with their nails. So I wanted to go to try. And what better than doing it live with all of you? So I earlier <clears throat> this week did my Lore Valley uh, nail demo. So I had that from a 2Z. So I was able to, as I showed you, get two nails done. And then the new spring catalog came through. And so I did Windy City, which is a grayish purple. So I did those on the rest of my nails. <clears throat> so I have kind of a nice purple palette because Easter is coming up soon. And I figured when you find these adorable little punch, kind of like um, hole punches, but this one is a rabbit. So when you find these in the Target dollar bin, you think, hey, why not give it a shot? So let's see if we can add some bunnies to my nails today. We'll see how it works out. Now, I had previously done a manicure with the New York Minute, which is a dark purple, a very dark purple with some shimmer to it. And of course, I still have this many left. So why not do an accent bunny with one of the thumbnails? So let's give it a shot. So now I have extra Windy City to do another manicure or pedicure. I still have a lot of extra New York Minute. And all I do is I resealed the tops um, with packing tape, some heavy duty packing tape. Scotch tape I don't think is strong enough. Um, it lets air through, so I really recommend packing tape or duct tape, you know, one of those. So I have these to use another time. I've taken out my thumb. I did the biggest thumb because in case I don't line up the bunny quite right, I wanted to have a big enough uh, nail strip. Uh, usually the, the one size down from this is great for my thumb, but I'll also show you how to remove the excess from your skin. So first step that you want to do, because otherwise it makes it really difficult, you want to remove this clear coat that is um, the overlayer, <clears throat> and then you'll want to punch what's left. You don't want to remove it from the white backing because then you'll have all the nail polish stick to your hole punch which would not be fun. So now I'm going to go ahead and line it up. And obviously, whichever way you want the money to face, you can, you can decide. I'm just going to try it this way. And I will tilt this down for you to now see what I'm working on. So I'll put that to the side. I want to make sure I have full coverage on said bunny. Makes it a little difficult because I can't punch it in the air, I found. I have to do it on the table. So, right, I've got the bunny. I've got the bunny. All right. Give it a shot. It sounds like it did it. Woohoo! It's all right. I was a little off, but that's okay. So now I have this adorable bunny. Isn't it so cute? All right. So now all I have to do is I have to peel off the paper backing, which had already peeled up. So now I'm just going to put it on my thumb like so. So now I have an adorable accent bunny for my nails. And what I'm now going to do, <clears throat> I'm also going to use this side because this is nail polish. So I'm going to go ahead and peel it up. Peel it away. I've obviously got to work on my placement of the punching because I did a little bit of a, oops, a little bit of a, came apart a little bit. All right. Well, now it's fully apart. So we've just failed a little tiny bit on this one. I will, but hey, now we know for next time. <clears throat> All right. So now I'm going to attach bunny here and attach the bunny here all right 
looks like I need to bring it down a tiny bit. So, since I misplaced where I want it, I just got to bring it down. Be very gentle about it. Tab came off. That's fine because the tab is garbage. And now... Right, the button wasn't as successful on my right hand, but that's okay. <coughs> so, I now have excess here. I'm going to go ahead and trim it across, and then same as you would do for a normal manicure. <coughs> I just go in the downward motion, take off the excess, just like that, starts coming off. There we go. And then you see that there's a little bit on my skin here. All you have to do is take your thumb and work at it, and there it comes off. And that's all there is to it. So if you have a, a nail strip that's just a little bit wider than your um, actual nails, that's okay. You can go a little bit bigger on the nail strip and remove it. Not a problem. And now I have this little bit extra to work with. And I've seen some really cool designs where I now can do another accent. I've seen people cut them. Um, let's see, I've got a little bit. The triangle detail now. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put it on like that. <clears throat> and then I'm going to continue to cut this piece into another, more like a chevron. And I'm going to add this one. So do I want it up or do I want it down? I like it like this. So now it's, of course, like wanting to stick to my nail. My hand, actually. Okay. Now I've got one like this. So now I have little accents on my nails, and I still have a little piece left that I could even do <clears throat> an inverse where I've got, yeah, perfect. So now I put it like this so it looks reverse. So I've got the Windy City showing through there and I've got the um, New York Minute as the little angle there. So now with this one, all I have to do is again, just take my nail file, bring it down. So this is what makes color sheet also so great is with the extras that you have, you can do a lot of really fun designs. I've seen so many things on Pinterest lately. Um, people are so creative, it blows my mind. So I saw this one, where somebody did it with a bunny hole punch, which can I found mine at Target, but you can find them on Amazon, you can find them at a craft store, you can pretty much find them anywhere. Um, but I saw somebody do it with a butterfly for spring, and I was like, well, hey, it's almost Easter time, well, why not give it a shot with a bunny? So now I'm super excited that that's my bunny. I've got a matching bunny over here, and now I have some extra chevron accents to go with my Laura Valley. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, but it's just another aspect of what to do with your extra color street strips. So if you have any questions, let me know and have a good night.